accomplish uh, two different things. First of all, working with Mike, who is our College of Marin teacher and has just rocked it. He's amazing. He has really, I mean, it's, it's hard to teach high school students, and he's a college professor, so coming in and teaching these guys, it was just a joy to watch how they grew, and, and um, so, Mike, thank you. And I have also had the privilege, because of how things were scheduled, I have been, I taught every week in the class, and just watching you guys grow from I am so impressed with all of you. Every single one of you just did a really great, I mean, you were so invested and so excited and came up with a lot of really cool creative ideas and ways to address different issues. All of you hit problems, you had failures, which I love seeing, and you overcame them. And so I'm, I mean, I just, I wanna say how proud I am of you. You're, you're a special class and Just so that you know, each of them developed a sustainable business plan. Everybody in the room had a sustainable business plan that they developed. And then we went through a selection process to select. We selected nine. It was the most we've ever selected because so many of them were amazing. We could have selected way more than that. It was um, a really great batch of the plans. And then they went through a process and selected each other to be on their businesses. So the CEOs <coughs> hired different people through a process of looking at resumes and cover letters and then um, were able to uh, implement each of businesses. So without further ado, Swirl. My name is Claudia Sparrow. My name is Ruby Somalia. So, what is Swirl? Swirl is a student-run sustainable business that uses reclaimed copper wiring to create beautiful rings. All of our rings are fully adjustable and unique. We are working to keep copper out of our landfills through both reuse and education. So at the beginning of the year, we uh, were given, we gave each other uh, designated roles, and so each role had a, had a special task to it, and so Charlotte's role was, she was the CEO slash jeweler, so she helped manage everything, make sure everything was going right, uh, along with everyone else, and she made all the rings, because it's her craft, and it's what she does best, and um, Claudia, she, is, she works on supplier and distributor right <coughs> Relations and she uh, did all the outreach for retail stores, farmers markets, and every event that we like to go. We want, wanted to go to. Um, then there's me marketing. I manage the social media. I have helped create the website for the most part, and uh, just mainly creating a marketing campaign. And uh, Ruby, she helped reach out for a lot of our sales, so she was a big portion of, of why we sold a good amount. And yeah. Mobile Celebrate and started emailing the 
by collecting emails from all customers and all, all contacts that we got. So, so my boss said that this was to make a website and use social media. Another one would just be word of mouth and through our local community, family, and friends. And we also sold about five things to a local business called Jolt. At the beginning of the semester, we outlined our triple bottom line, creating goals to help Swirl set our goals for what we wanted to accomplish in our environmental, um, equitable, and um, economic sectors of our business. Um, the first of these was our economic goals. By um, both researching businesses that have already been established and have comparable items to the rings we were making, and also by surveying our target market and the people we wanted to sell to, we were able to set a price of about $20, well, actually, exactly $20, for a swirl ring. In addition to this, we created a 25% student discount in order to market ourselves to our peers, who we thought would be a large part of our target market. In addition to this, we calculated the expenses and costs that running our business would take. Each swirl ring only cost 54 cents to make, and this low price is largely because we were able to get the wire we used um, donated to us by local electricians and marine sanitary who have lots of old electrical wire that's already been used that they want to get rid of. Um, because our cost of creating rings is so low, um, we had a really high return on each sale that we made, which really helped our business be profitable. In addition to this, our operating expenses were really low. Most of our operating expenses were one-time purchases, such as the domain of our website or the tools needed to make rings. And our monthly expenses were really only what it cost to run our website. Using these numbers and projected sales, we were able to calculate that and predict that Swirl would break even in about mid-January and that we could make about $1,000 by June, which we thought was really good. The main environmental issue we were addressing with Swirl was the harmful effects caused by copper when it enters our land. So copper is actually considered a hazardous waste, meaning it should not be thrown away. Um, however, when it is, it breaks down and contributes to the bioaccumulation of a substance called leach leachate in the base of the landfills. Leachate is a soup of different hazardous wastes and toxic materials that then seeps out into the surrounding environment. This can cause some detrimental health effects to the people living in the surrounding communities, which are mostly low income and minority people as well as harm the surrounding ecosystem. Copper also retains most of its original value when it's recycled. So by um, reusing copper, we are reducing the demand for more copper to be mined. And as you can see here, this is a picture of what a copper mine looks like. This, this one specifically used to be a mountain until it was mined for copper. So that shows how destructive um, the practices of mining copper are to the also at Swirl, we use all recycled and sustainable materials in order to maximize our positive environmental impact. Um, our equity goals. Um, we wanted to reduce the negative health impacts, and by doing that, we're taking copper out of the mines because it can really affect the miner workers, giving them uh, lung, lung conditions and uh, multiple other uh, health issues. And um, it's better because it keeps out low income communities. As Claudia referenced, uh, it affects these communities and um, we don't want that because uh, they're already in a worse situation than us. So we just want to make it, we want to raise our equity and make it good for everyone. So now we're going to talk about our outcomes of the trip, bottom line of that. We 
waiter and told him why the oh, by by deep sleep and by the end we made we sold forty wins. At Swirl, our environmental impacts are largely proportional to the amount of copper that we kept out of the landfill. So in order to track this, we recorded how much wire we used every time we made a ring, the length of the wire, and also the gauge, which is how thick the wire is. Using these numbers, we were able to total the length of wire we've used so far in our business at 27.2 feet, and also calculate the mass of copper that we kept out of the landfill. This mass is 254.7 grams. Now, 254.7 grams is not actually a lot, it's half a pound, but this small amount has enormous environmental impact. And these environmental impacts can be put into perspective by the Environmental Protection Agency's maximum contaminant level for copper in our drinking water. That level is 1.3 milligrams or 0.0013 grams per liter. Anything above that level is toxic. So that 250 grams that we kept out of the landfill could have gone a very long way into making our drinking water and the drinking water in the low-income communities that surround the landfill toxic. In addition to this, a lot of the time we spent during these past few months was spent doing education work. So we published information about the impacts of copper in landfills and how copper should be disposed of on our website, on our social media, and on a blog that we created just for that purpose. We were, by doing this, we were reaching out to our community and helping to educate them about how to dispose of their copper. So we believe that this educational campaign also likely kept copper out of the landfill, creating additional environmental benefits and um, additional copper sequester that swirl caused indirectly in addition to our direct environmental benefits. The equity component of our business is long-term, making it difficult to measure. Um, we are, our product is improving the health of communities surrounding landfills over time. Um, the more rings we make, the more copper we are keeping out of the landfill, which then means a reduction in chemicals that these communities are being exposed to on a daily basis. So here we have is our commercial. Um, I filmed and edited it. It was a it was a fun one to make, and I I enjoyed how it turned out. <laughs>